Hey, Dan the Homeless Man here. We're out here in the Homeless Man little shed. I got some other RCs, things over here, you know, work, work stuff over there, some other things for sale behind me here. Everybody's always asking what people do for a living. Well, I'm trying to run an eBay shop, but, you know, it's, I don't know. It is what it is. It's startup. It's taken off. I guess it'll it'll eventually make me what I need to do. But anyway, so I got hurt. That's why I'm into RCs. I was here, everybody. Why are you doing RC? Well, that's why I do RC, because I got really hurt. Can't do real life anymore. But as you can tell, today's video has a little mud involved in it. It was raining. I know a place that, you know, nice drainage ditch. We went and took the RCs off-road. Got a little bit of video. A little bit of weeds and stuff stuck in the tires. So now I'm going to take some time, clean these up. Why don't you uh, check out the video while I do that and talk to you later. Oh, wow, gee. <laughs> Popped the windshield just about out of it. Well, we had a good time. All righty. You go watch the video and I'll clean these things up. Talk to you here in a little bit.
All right, well, those are all washed, drying out. You see, much more clean than they were. They don't have to be perfect. We're gonna just take them out and get them dirty again. This is probably the cleanest that they've been. <laughs> it's kind of funny, I still have my Hot Wheels uh, launcher truck out here from taking pictures for eBay. Yep, cleaned up the battery, it got a little mud on it. Not bad, as you can see. Controller got just a little bit of mud on it too, set it down somewhere. Anyways, clean those up and you know, it'll be all right. Everything is running good, we didn't break anything. Got these all cleaned up, sitting here in front of the little Mr. Buddy. Oh yeah, drying out, sitting up there. This is a nice little, my nice little homeless man cave here. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of the Tonkas. Oh yeah, here's the earth scraper down there. And I have uh, the dump truck is out in the garage still. I have a, not really a lot of space to put it out here yet, so I just left it out there. I have dolls, all kinds of stuff. Got drawers. We're getting there. Stuff tucked down in here, everywhere. Yeah. Boxes of stuff. Little junk boxes I'm building. So yeah, that's how I'm trying to eBay. That's how I try to make my living on this. Anyways, yeah. Here's a few of the other old RCs we have. These things are insects. They're kind of really cool. The jaws move, the lights, the head, the eyeballs light up different colors. The back opens up and a Nerf rocket launcher pops out. And a little helicopter back there. This thing <laughs> was my fail of the year. Yeah, I put it on my one of my crawlers and that's the body for the, yeah. I'm sure you guys remember that from the Diesel Brothers. Their fail of the year. <laughs> but hey, yeah, is what it is. There's some of the rest of it down there. And yes, you know, I mean, I may make my own phones and stuff, but I also buy them. I, I, I do have these things. All right, so, I mean, you know, it's not like I don't have them. Yeah, cool little indoor racers and stuff. These things are great. I have a blue one that I'm running inside right now against my daughter's grave digger. So, spare. Yeah, blown out tire. Turn it inside out, make it a planter. Yep. We've done it all. So, this is kind of just a little homeless man cave. My wife's homemade stuff. She crochets, stuff like that. Just odd little things like that. Anyways, um, she's really good at it. She sews doll clothes, different things. Hey, look, I even got a pair of tires stuffed up there in the corner. We got RC just kind of oozing out of everywhere a little bit. Doesn't all have to be super expensive, does it? Some of my tools back here. I kind of try to hide, you know. But hey, it is what it is. My little tiny shed. Now, if you've enjoyed this, leave a like, a share, and you know, that wonderfully, lovely, coveted subscription. Have a great day.